It's showtime. He said it, not me. I'm just repeating it. Ah, uh, yes, it's a boy show today. Yesterday was girls. The last day was girls. The other day was girls. But today we, we do have girls up here. Enough girls to keep the boys straight, I hope. Anyway, we'll talk about that in just a right. moment. See, it's already Fred. It's Brad for nut, too. All right, boys, your mic's on. It's raining. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, There's love no show hope. today. We get to cornhole. Cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. The story just tells you it is a rainy day. Hey, listen, Stephen Tyler's in the shows there. He's supposed to drop by this morning. He called me, and I said, well, Stephen, I'm going to have to bump you because Penitentiary Mountain Man is in here this morning. That's right. right on. <laughs> I, ain't got Stephen time. Tyler. I ain't got time for Stephen Tyler to be in the studio this morning right. when Wade's in here. So <laughs> here we go. Shut up. What's up? Hi, brother. Hey, Reggie. Good morning, sir. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Coach Skipworth. Uh, right. Joseph in here, too. Joseph got a ton of car shows. As a matter of fact, if it ain't happening, it ain't happening because Saturday, everything's happening. <laughs> too bad you ain't on the campaign trail, Fred. I am every day. <laughs> That's right. We'll be out and about, and I know the Yarborough's will, so we'll talk about that in just a second, too. So, hey, ain't got it long to talk this morning. I got a kid, you know, it's been all about glory all week long, so it's been some <laughs> packed with guests this morning. So let's get to the weather right now, because it is supposed to rain all day today, but the weekend, tell me, good news. Oh, today, 100% rain. It's raining now, and it looks like it's going to be raining for quite some time. 56 degrees. As far as the weather, as far as the coolness out there, not bad at all, so don't worry about that. But hold that umbrella. You'll need it pretty much all day. Of course, according to the Weather Channel, it's going to be pretty steady until about 6, 7 o'clock today. So the high temperature is not going to go up much more, but 59 for that high. Then tomorrow, Friday, things dry out. Partly sunny skies, 71 for that high. Absolutely gorgeous Saturday with temperatures of 72. A little drop, 66 on Sunday, but then look, 80 is sneaking around the corner. Come. Come Tuesday, so that's going to be great. Dixie Auto Parts, don't forget that they're going to go ahead and have a one-day sale Friday. Friday, so Friday. <laughs> so get over there and see uh, Bill, Richard, and Peggy. Yep, that's good, Jamie. <laughs> they're 20% off on Echo, and they're going to have some good deals for you. So mark your calendar and get out there. Yes, it is raining out there. Well, it looks like we got a full house for sure. You are associated with us, so sit down. We've had a full house all the way. I've seen you girls since your birthday party. Yes. Congratulations. Happy Great birthday. Party. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's odd for me to be out that late. Was a great seven? time. <laughs> yes. Fred, how are you? Seven. Great. Great. It's six. She's doing good. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about it. That's just more, so I had to ask you about it. That's that. right. Gina, how are you? I'm morning? good. Y'all got a busy weekend? We do. Busy, busy. Oh, no, good deal. Yeah. So a lot of things going on. Good to see you. I got the tennis shoes out ready to go this morning. I'm going to get me a pair. Everything okay. ready to work. Rain in the forecast. Boy, I tell you what, ain't that a motley looking crew over there this morning? <laughs> Penitentiary Mountain, Reggie, shut up. Here comes another one. Combined IQ of about 63. The funky bunch. The funky. All right, with that in mind, let's go to sports right now. Zach's got plenty of stuff to talk. Today, Zach, today is one of your favorite days of the year because it's draft day. Yes, I will be sitting there having a draft party. Y'all can come over and watch the draft party. Most people have a draft party. They're talking about draft beer, Zach. I have pizza and a Sprite. <laughs> Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. And since I'm drinking out of his mug, I say it's a great day to go see Bo at Marmite Realty, too. There you go. Another plug for Bo. Can you quit uh, drinking and do sports? Good, good, good coffee this morning. Hey, uh, Ron, Ronald Acuna made his debut, everybody. Two. The number two best prospect in, in baseball right now. And he made his debut, went one for five last night, but the Braves came back down and, and won five to four. So good comeback win for them, beating a bunch of, after losing two to a bunch of losers. Reds. Uh, Reuben Foster's accuser is recounting accusations. She's actually saying she got in a fight with another woman and she was trying to, yeah, uh, he sure. was trying to break up with her. So he said, huh. well, he said, I'll say you did it. So, so allegedly, Brad, allegedly, oh, yeah. that's what's happening. So we'll see if Reuben gets oh, out oh, of it. Oh. Hey, Michael Vick is now going to be an assistant that new Alliance of American football and Right now, Michael Vick will be serving as an offensive coordinator dude. for that league coming up next spring. 
We mentioned NFL draft coming up. It'll be a, uh, could be possibly up to five that. Alabama guys. Hey, good, it's good for Alabama fans. We get to see all our guys go in the first round, so I like it. So, and hey, uh, Blake Barnett, we heard this story before, Jamie. He's transferring again. He, he can't keep up. He's a grad transfer, and he's a, he, gra he graduated, so he is looking. He's got two years of eligibility. He's going to South Florida right now looking. For, he, I'll just check Florida Atlantic. I'm sure Lane Kiffin would In fact, that. if you check the second page of that draft, you'll find out where all the Alabama players are going. I'll just cut that out for you. Uh, you see it? Oh, yeah. I don't like being well informed, Zach, when you're doing sports. Well, I was doing the main page, but, but, but I like where some of these guys well, are going. Zach, I want to cut you short. Right. Hey, hey Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, back to you. Thank you. Hey, let's talk about some pictures. Uh, yesterday, we were down at Daniel Chank. Once again, I did not win Citizen of the Year. <laughs> How many years do I have to suffer? But thank you for Mark Garber for giving me that great award the other day. But first, there's Julie. Oh, yeah, from B&S Grocery yeah. out at Del Hey, right down the road from me. She yeah. is a doll. Yeah, she's a talker, too. What a nice lady. Nice yeah. lady. What Next. A, uh, two more nice ladies. Y'all right. know Ruth Jane and Sheila she Lauderdale. Ruth Jane Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you can't go anywhere. Is that you on the right, too? That's me on the right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm glad to see you in a picture. Sure. At least right. Jamie got it. There's one. that dark cloud following me again, too. <laughs> Dang it. What's next? All right. Hey, the doctors, you know, they won yesterday for most successful business ever to come to Athens, Alabama and open their own bank. Dr. Hatfield's <laughs> not I didn't know what I told them. I said, what y'all should have done, y'all accept your award. Who in here has a new body part from Ortho Sports? Half the bunch in there stood up. I did. Probably. Well, he's working on mine. I don't. Traditions, Dana won too. Traditions. A lot yep. of stuff going on. They won an award too. All right, is that it? No, nope, one more. Dr. Hamilton. Uh, Dr. Hamilton. Dr. Hamilton. And right. a happy birthday. There was oh. 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 Let's be down in the bottom right dancing with my shirt on. Hanging with our well, boys. Hey, country. hey I, got, I got a text from Coach Leg, Jamie. Well, he, he said, won. tell free, he looks like a million bucks in that tie. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, let's bring the abbreviated version right now. Judge J. Hey, I got exactly. it. You ready? I got it. I got let's it. Let's ride. It is. Three, <laughs> two, up. <laughs> Brought to you by one love hearing. Can you hear me now? If you don't want nobody to call Zeke, he'll fix you right up. Y'all know the rules. Wait, wrong answer. Right answer. All right, this election don't win for me as it should be with all the tremendous support we're getting. I'm going to be in the scrap metal business. Scrap <laughs> really? metal right now has gone up. How much is a, how much does 100 pounds of scrap metal? Oh, that's a lot of metal. It's going to be... $20. No, $75. It went as low as three fifty a pound a year ago. What is it now for 100 pounds? Four fifty. dollars 50 It's over a 50% really? increase. Scrap metal or scrap metal? Scrap metal. 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 Scrap Molten. Only one person, Fred, would know the answer to this question because of his Hot famous daddy-in-law. They're cooking a chicken stew there tomorrow, or Saturday, when they open. What is the price of a gallon of chicken stew? They're cooking 150 gallons. Probably $12. $1,300. $25. $15. $20 a gallon. $10 for a half gallon and $5 a quarter. So they're trying to make profit. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make profit. I'm going to buy $100. USA Today this morning, Mr. Shut Up, says that tax refunds are driving used car sales, Mustang Man. Okay. This is the time of year. Yeah, it is. Oh, you already knew this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying this is the time to buy a new car. What is the average refund for the 212.3? Billion dollars that was issued this year. Minus twelve hundred. That's what I had. Thirty-three dollars. I had to pay you, so it don't matter. <laughs> Twenty-five. Twelve hundred. That's what I'm getting back. Seven hundred. Thirteen hundred and fifty bucks. And you'll hear what's going on. I feel like Ken Garner up here this morning. Oh, here we go. Say thirty-five hundred. Two thousand eight hundred and ninety-three. They cheat on their taxes. Huh? They cheat on their taxes. No, I didn't get that back. All right. I didn't get, I didn't get that back. NFL draft is this afternoon or tonight. Zach will be up all night watching that. It'll be over by eleven. What is the number one draft that's had since nineteen thirty-six when the draft first started? What college has had the most draftees in the first round? Roll Tide. 
Michigan. Wrong answer, Zach. Oh. LSU. What about Michigan? Wrong answer. Ohio State. At Ohio USC. 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 Who's got the count. most? Who's got the most people in the NFL? LA. Hey, Jamie, I missed the sports story real quick. What? Hey, the hustle had it. Came <laughs> back from four one and one last night. If they win tomorrow night, they're the champs. So VBC tickets are available. Boy, boy, I had a guy boy, come up to me on the campaign. Campaign trail, Jamie. I remember. When you used to go to the Channel Cats game when the house Channel first started, he, he said, yeah. you probably don't remember it because the way you looked a couple times I saw you. Mm -hmm. That would be a right answer. He used to throw catfish out on them. We used to throw catfish, on live catfish oh, onto them. Oh, the, yeah. We started that. Almost, almost threatened to arrest. Last question. What is today nationwide? Thursday. Thursday. Yes, I got it right. That's right. That's right. Only oh, yeah. right. scientists will buy it. Nationwide, baby. Oh, what is today? Today, you know, national so and so national. day. What is today? Throwback Thursday. What is today? Yeah. Space. Today's go for Gloria yeah, Cooper no. Day. Bean Day. Okay. Bean Day. Yeah, well, that'll be on the Tuesday. No, we don't need to have another Bean Day. No, we do national Pretzel Day. Pretzel oh, there you go. National That's Pretzel Day. Right. I just want you guys to know that. Mm -hmm. So that concludes Judge Jamie, abbreviated version this morning. Now it's time. There's that means y'all can depart from over there. Wait, get what ready. is it, though? Oh. Now it's time to go to the man. We, we bumped Stephen we Tyler for right. this this morning. You better do good. Don't mess well, up. The man from Wade. Penitentiary Mountain, the one and only, Wade Oliver. Y'all <laughs> hang on. No pressure. Everybody talks about the first big kiss. You know that something ain't want to miss. But now it's a little thing between me and her. Sitting on the blanket with the stars above. Singing songs about the things we love. Talking about kids or lives and work. She laughs at my jokes. I'm crazy about her hair. Things in common we both share. Simple things we love about her. She's a little crazy and I'm a little wild. She likes me singing, I love her smile. They pull us together, these things between me and her. Long conversation every other night. Weekend comes, we take a little ride. Her hand in mine, no seat between me and her. I can write a song about her hair and her eyes The way I feel when I look at that smile The way she looks in those jeans and a pink t-shirt Woo! Woo! That's my jokes, I'm crazy about her hair Things in common, we both share Simple things we love about her She's a little crazy and I'm a little wild She likes me singing, I love her smile Pull us together, these things between me and her. Starlight shining in her pretty blue eyes. The way I feel when I look at the smile. She's by my side, the happiest man on earth. Someday when we're sitting in a rocking chair, age in her smile and gray in my hair. Love will be the only thing between me and her. Last of my jokes, I'm crazy about her hair. Things in common, we both share. Simple things we love about her. She's a little crazy and I'm a little wild. She likes singing, I love her smile. Pull us together, these things between me and her. About to start a cornhole tournament in here in just a moment, so y'all get ready for that. But uh, Brad Canut joins up here. What is your official title, Mr. Canut? 
Circuit court clerk. Circuit. That sounds like a lot of work. It is a it lot, is of, a work. lot of work. And then today we're wanting to talk about absentee voting. I'm also the absentee election manager for the county. Well, who? There's nobody else that could, would do that, would they? <laughs> I they mean, probably wouldn't. Does the city clerk? I mean, not city clerk. County clerk. You get that responsibility, don't you? Or you volunteer for that? No, that's that's something that you would volunteer for. Oh, oh. well, why take on more responsibilities? That's just, just who want he to is. be there. Oh, <laughs> explain to us how absentee are just now starting, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they started April the 11th. April 11th was the day that we, I've already had just a little less than 20 votes so far. About how many are turned in for a primary for June 5th? Uh, I would probably say. On average. I know, the, I look back at the last primary and it was about 640 that something. That many? That's yes. a lot. God, I was going to say about 100. Yeah. That's really a lot. Yeah, when is the lot. cutoff? Cutoff date May would be uh, May 31st, which is a Thursday. A lot of people think it's the Friday, but okay. it's actually the Thursday. Okay. Before the election, it's five days from the election. Six hundred something people absent. So th is that average? Uh, probably. Uh, it would probably be a good number for a who for a the, big election. Big election. Uh, who is the number one person that is a, a usually an absentee voter? What type of person? Uh, people group? that's going to be out of town. They're going on trips or cruises, vacations, and uh, going to Gatlinburg, the mountains, things like that. Just anywhere out of town mm -hmm. for that day? What do we need to know specifics about an absentee ballot? Specifics about absentees would be that don't wait. That's a lot of times people wait till the last day. They'll come in on that Friday after the cutoff, and then they're, they're, not, they're not able to vote absentee. You, you have to do it before that deadline. And a lot of people either wait and don't come in, they just think, well, I've waited too long, and they won't come in. And, you know, you think, well, you hate that they not vote. Right. What so is the process? They walk into your office? They can come into the office and uh, probably take them 10 minutes. They fill out an application for an absentee ballot, and then as they're doing that, I'm preparing their ballot. They would vote, and they're gone. Like I said, less than 10 minutes. If someone can't get out, they can mail in an application or they could request me mail them the application uh, if they're homebound or whatever. I'll mail them the application, they would fill it out, mail it back to me, I mail the ballot to them, then they send it back to they you. They don't have to have anything notarized or anything no. like that, do they? Okay. No, no. Wait, the only time somebody has to do something, uh, have a witness, is if they can only make a mark. If they okay. can't sign their name, they, okay. ha they have to have a witness if they can okay. just make a mark. Gotcha. And, uh, and then once the application comes back to me, it has to be hand delivered by the voter only. So I can't go out with a bunch of absentee ballots and get people to make a mark for me. No. No. Oh. No. That ain't gonna no. Work. But yeah, they have to when the application comes in, it has to be hand delivered by the voter only or sent in through the postal service, okay. through the US mail. Voter only or mailed in. Yes, that's correct. Now can people still register to vote? Yes, the, and, and that's one thing I wanted to mention. That's really not my department, but that's another crucial thing during an election. May the 21st is the last day that someone can register or update their information. Oh. And that would help them not have problems when they go to the polls. But you can go to votelimestone.com. Uh, we have a website. It's Judge Woodruff with the probate office. You can check your status to make sure that you're active. You know, a lot of times people get that card in the mail that says, please return to the Board of Registrars. They don't do that and then they're marked as inactive. Then when they go vote, they end up having to vote a provisional ballot because they're inactive. They're, they're inactive. Mm -hmm. Or you've moved. If now, you've if moved, you've moved and you haven't changed your voter's registration, can you come back to the county you used to live in to vote? Well, you're supposed to go and change your information. Right. immediately. Uh, and you can go to the Secretary of State's website. You can do it online. It's convenient. very It's very convenient, very easy. Or if you'd just like to go to the Board of Registrar's office, you could go there, but that's the key thing during the election is making sure that your voter status is active and you're at the right polling place. When are the absentee ballots counted? They're counted on election day, just like all the other votes. Uh, usually uh, the law says that I have to take the ballots to the probate judge by noon. I go ahead and carry them over and then I have a set of ladies that work just like poll workers out in the polling stations. And then we begin the process of undoing all the envelopes and getting ready to put them in the machine. When are those results made known to the public? Usually my results are very, the, the very first ones. Uh, Do you have to wait till that night till the polls close? I, 
Yeah, we, we get all the ballots out, we scan them into a machine, but we have to wait until 7 p.m. to cut the machine oh, okay. to, to tally up just like all the other ones. So even though you know ahead of time, you got to wait until it's close. Well, I won't, know, I won't know ahead of time because okay, I don't get the results until we... Gotcha. Okay. So, it's, yeah, you get them all in, then you got to wait till 7 o'clock. Okay. It's not bad on a big election because we're usually working all the way up until that point. But a small what election... What do you do on the day, June 5th? What is your day like? Uh, June 5th, I'll probably have to go to some of the polling stations to take... Emer that we have emergency absentee votes if someone's in a hospital or something. Uh, and I generally have a few of those, and I have to go and do that. Then usually polling stations will be calling because someone may have absenteed, and then they forgot about it, and they're at the polling place trying to vote again, gotcha. and I'm having to uh -huh. verify that. And, uh, so you're busy. It's a busy yes. day, very busy that day. night? The, all through the night. Uh, I'm there after we get the ballots done, then I'm helping assist with all the ballots that are coming in. Gotcha. So, I, well, now you're welcome day. to stay alive and play a game of cornhole here in a minute. Uh, <laughs> gee, that just killed me. Even, to, but anyway, it's a great game. We're going to talk about that coming up here in just a moment. There's a lot of stuff happening this weekend. Yeah, I want to mention one other thing real quick. I shared a video on my Facebook okay. yesterday about absentee voting, and people can watch that and give you a better idea who Is it can going vote. Viral? We'll share it to our pages. Yeah, I hope it you. goes viral. <laughs> But yes, but thank you very much for letting Thanks me be for coming here. Up. Thank you. Good to see you. And I always good. admire your story about how you got elected. The hard work uh -huh. you put in, you're to be uh, complimented on that, too. You worked thank hard. You. Thank you're you very much. Thank you. Did an excellent <laughs> job. All right, we'll take a break. Be right back in just a moment. Y'all, hang on. back this morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. Today's one of those days. It's just going to rain. Unfortunately, if you have an outdoor event, I'll tell you about one in just a moment. Still, show up, go over there, meet everybody. The weather, it's 56 degrees. Temperatures aren't going to go up much. About 59 for your high today. Rain throughout the day. Mm. Looks like it'll probably start to taper off around 6 p.m. Tomorrow dries out. Absolutely a gorgeous weekend and a good thing because there's a thousand things taking place. One of those things, Hal, today, Come out there today, this Thursday, meet everybody, talk about any of the braces, learn about the information and the products that they have. If you're a diabetic, you need some diabetic shoes, they have them. They have braces for your back, your elbows, your knees. They've got it all, and they're great folks, too. Right there, their new location, Highway 72 in Athens. All right, guys, how are you? Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. You're always fantastic. Still doing your Motivation Mondays absolutely, on Mojo Show? Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. That's helpful for folks. We know what? It's Monday morning. They're Appreciate dragging. It. it happens. So we try to get the week started off on the right foot. A little energy. You're it's full of energy, too. Oh, I love it. Keeping Mojo straight, too. Well, that's a, that's a full-time <laughs> job. That guy's a handful. <laughs> I know he is. What are some of the things? Joseph up here and Greg, too. We're going to talk to them in just a moment. A bunch of car shows to talk about, too. What are some of the motivations? Like, what was your, this Monday? What did you tell people? Well, you know what? This Monday was just about being persistent, consistent, and resistant as mm -hmm. far as trying to achieve your goals. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have external influences that are going to dictate how you feel about certain things, whether you lose energy or gain energy. Look, just have faith in yourself, baby. It's just work. <laughs> God has a vision for you, a purpose in your heart, and if he put it in you, yep. then you can achieve it. So just stay focused, surround yourself with good people, and keep pushing, can't baby. It's just work. You can't find any. I know that's right. But well, you notice he, he looked over here at me when he oh, said surround yeah. yourself. You he caught that, right? I did. Okay. So basically, when you're knocking on doors, <clears throat> what you're telling me is you think you got to get all of these in, but you knock on those doors and people want to talk because they just feel like they know you. So you stay there too long and Gloria, you love it and you make friends and you are don't, changing, tell, don't, don't get worried about Gloria, it. Gloria, you are changing lives. When you knock on these people's doors and communicate, you are changing lives. Do that Good. and know that. We're enjoying it. Absolutely. We're enjoying it. 
You still tra training people? I, I try to. I'm missing one of my good friends, JC. Um, I'm looking forward to him coming back. Oh, he's getting, he's calling well, to you. It's hard to <laughs> His body is already fine, too. That well, chisel machine, yeah. Ch yeah, yeah, okay. Well, he is still Never doing his. Don't. He is still doing his workouts every morning, so he's right. still doing that. He's st and I instead of it. going to the gym, we've been doing a lot of walking lately. I know. I see you guys. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some car shows. Somewhere else we can do some walking. Well, it's it's probably my fault that it's raining all day today because uh, I cleaned my car. Up yesterday. That does it every time. So, yeah, I sent the list to Brad. There's so many. I had to look at the list. I had to we choose. Got but the big one is uh, the one on the square in Athens. This is the 11th annual. Uh, it's from 8 to 2. I think the gates open up at 7. I think mm -hmm. I'm correct in what saying gates? that. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll be, see, they're going to be, streets are going to be blocked off, so. No <clears> sneaking in. It's, it's wait uh, yeah, just wait to, <laughs> wait to get told to come in, Jamie. <clears throat> Let, let them get me. set up. Uh, but that'll be a big one. Uh, also over in Decatur, this is kind of a new one, but uh, the Big Fish Car Show, St. Anne's Seafood Festival. I've never been over to this one because it's usually the same day. Uh, but I know there's a lot of folks hit that one. Ten dollar entry for that one. It's kind of a donation, and there's lots of food. So if you want to eat, go to that one. Um, then over in uh, where's this Madison? It's a Madison County High School. Uh, it's the uh, Central Volunteer Fire Department show. Great. I know they've put a lot of effort into that. So that that show will really draw a lot of people from the uh, Scottsboro Gunnersville area. What's a rat rod? A rat rod is a vehicle, usually a truck, okay. that somebody, it's, it's kind of a beater, it's rusty, it's parts from different cars, okay. and they've kind of made a Frankenstein out of it. They've just used headlights from a 52 Ford, oh. tail lights from a, you know, 49 Buick or whatever. Okay. So well, they do I, a lot of Now I know all about there. a rat rod. Yeah. So do you. <laughs> uh, and, and they don't mind rust or okay. dings or holes in it. Unlike the Mustang Club. Yeah, they don't care about all that. No, they don't shine on anything. A rat rod doesn't. <laughs> it's usually real loud. Uh, let's see. Was that it, Brad? I can't remember what else uh, we had. I got, I got a question for you. There's that last yes, one right there. Third that annual prison for a got. cure. Yeah. Don't forget this one. Do this one first, Joseph. Okay, third annual Cruising for a Cure, Lincoln County High School up in Fayetteville. Fayetteville, not Fayetteville. So uh, $20 mm -hmm. registration. I work with a guy from Fayetteville, and he always Fayetteville. tells me the way to say it. So. Fayetteville. Is that car, you, what, that Mustang you're driving, is that yes. legal? Is it legal? As loud the as it sound. is. Oh, did you hear me when I left? I hear you every day? time you come in or out. Uh, and you neighbors have called me complaining. Oh, have they? The Griggs. <laughs> I see them at church. The Griggs family. Is that legal? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's legal. It has the cats on it. It has uh, the H pipe on it. It just has loud muffles. That's what you thought. Yeah, I don't know, Brad. I don't know if there's a What if I put it on uh, that Hummer? Right. If you put those uh, muffins yeah, on the Hummer? Hmm. I think it's still legal. It is yeah. legal. Yeah. So I, I, I'll, I'll, when the new license commissioner gets in, into office, I'll, I'll check with her and see. Why don't I have to put them on the Jeep? Uh, you need some muffers on that Jeep, and you need some windshield wipers on I don't want you wipe them bad. <laughs> I can't drive it today. It's still at KFC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see where it'll pop up today. Anyway. All right, Greg, what's going on with track? Well, we have our uh, sectional meet over at James Clemens tomorrow and mm -hmm. uh, Saturday. It's going to be 3A, day for it. 4A, 5A, and 7A. Okay. And so the top five finishers in each event, as long as they meet the state qualifying times, mm -hmm. will go to Orange Beach next weekend. All right. So if nice. I'm not here Thursday next week, then that's well, where no I'll, I'll be. Okay. Well, that's no excuse. Nice. Yeah. Best of luck. What happens on June second? I is get married. A, is that a private matter or? A... <laughs> well, yes. it ain't, it's no, not anymore. It's not here. I've talked about it before. <laughs> I'm getting married uh, Saturday evening on the second, five five o'clock. Congratulations. Congrats. Fine Bob gonna be there? No. Fine Bomb will not be there. He will not be there. <laughs> he was not invited. How many days a week you get on Fine Bob? Uh, two to three, just depends. How much I want. Is he a groupie? <laughs> yeah, and then he give me a shout out, yeah, about being the living legend in North Alabama. Okay. Fine Bob needs to meet me, you know. He Why don't we have like him on the show? Huh? Why don't we have him hey, they on were talking about, We got Zach. They were talking about doing, having people do their own shows. I was thinking, well, Greg's got his own show. He yes. ought to be up there telling him he's got his own show. Mm -hmm. We do a Fine Box segment once a week. Like that. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Something to talk You're not about. getting on, Jamie. All right, well, guys, thanks for being with us. Yes. Wade is ready to sing another song, so hang tight, cameraman. That would be you, Jamie <laughs> Cooper. We're getting ready to do it. Get good local hit. and loving it. Thank you, Brad. Keep them straight. Here we go.
It's a little country store on the road around The table in the back where old men hang out They talk about the way things were back then And greet every customer when they walk in See them every morning from five to nine Always in a hurry to get to work on time They grab a cup of coffee and they're on their way A little extra boost to help them face the day That's how you start your day in a little town Hard working folks that keep the world turning round They ain't in the paper or on the news Working overtime to pay the rent and buy food Later that day they'll be back here again Saying good evening to their neighbors and friends They talk about the things that happened during the day Say goodbye and be on their way Brian gets there early with his oldest kid. They lay brick like his granddaddy did. He's getting this headed to the fit. He don't talk much since his wife got kid. And he's in a hurry, he's got freight to haul. He wants to get back and watch his kids play ball. Linda, she's a teacher. Talking to Jack Missed your last Sunday How's your mom and dad That's how you start your day In a little town Hard working folks That keeps the world turning round Ain't in the paper Or on the news Working overtime To pay the rent and buy food Later that day They'll be back here again Saying good evening to their neighbors and friends They talk about the things that happened during the day Say goodbye and be on their way It's a little country store on the road right? They close up when the sun goes down They'll be back in the morning by five This little town starts to come alive There we go. All right, we are back. One the thing boys, I'm going to say, the boys are playing cornhole in the background. So if you hear any noise, that's what it is. Let's talk about it. Cornhole this Saturday. This Saturday. Mm -hmm. County for a Cure. That's right. You like oh, everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. All right, they won't get that one back. Good shot, Joseph. All right, tell us about it. What's, tell us what happens Saturday. Uh, Saturday cornhole yes. tournament. Oh. Cornhole <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Don't give it back to him. <laughs> Saturday cornhole tournament at the Sheriff's Arena. Okay. Good Good time. Time. It's going to be great weather. Yes. Great weather. Great weather. Um, we have our same sponsor, the sole sponsor for our cornhole tournament returning this year, Tri Green. Great. Mr. Mike Underwood. All right. We can't, to have we can't thank them enough. I, I mean, they give us a thousand dollar prize money. Mm -hmm. That is super. <laughs> He is so bad. <laughs> He's going to get the other <laughs> And the prize money split, uh, 500 oh, first, well, 500 first, uh, 300 second, second, and 200 third. 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 And first place gets a trophy. Yes. Now, last year when you guys did this, it was a super successful day. Mm -hmm. yes. We have some photos, and everybody comes out. There's teams. How many people in a team? Two. Two. Okay, just two people per mm -hmm. team, obviously. Two people per team. How, what time does this begin? Uh, it begins, the bags will throw at 12 o'clock. Registration that day starts at 11. Okay. 
So it is. A, you can you can go on Facebook. You can do that, or you can contact Michelle. Absolutely. If you don't know how to reach Michelle, you can call me, 603-4848. I'll get you that information. And if you register before Saturday, you save $10. Great. It's $40 a team. But if okay. you wait and register Saturday, it's $50. It's $50. All right. So, now, this is, look at everybody out here. This is an all-day event, a lot of fun, a family event. You can bring the kids. Mm -hmm. Be a lot bring of your fun. coolers, bring your tents, yes. okay. set up for the day. If for you've never day. had a chance to be around the local cornhole community, they are they're amazing people. They give back. They come to all the different charities in the community, not okay. just Relay for Life, but mm -hmm. they're they're special group of people. While we're up here, let's talk about Relay for Life. It's, it's next week. week. Next it's week. next week. Relay Week's next week. What all happens? Um, Monday night we start out with Survivor Dinner at the Event Center. Okay. Um, we encourage anybody that's a survivor to, to call us, get registered, to come in, have dinner with us. It's going to be a good night. We've got door prizes. We'll have a speaker. Just several things going on. Okay. Um, Thursday night at the courthouse, we've got a memory tree that we're going to light purple. Aww. And you can come and you can do memory or you can do in honor of, uh, write their name on a little card and you tie it to the ribbon and it'll stay up over the week. Courthouse will be lit purple and the tree will be lit purple. <laughs> then Friday night really is the big night. That's relay night. That's night. Uh, it, we've moved it. It's now at the event center. We'll be in the parking lot. If it's pretty, if not, we'll be on the inside. Okay. Uh, this year we've got about 18, 16 team so far teams. Um, and that will go till midnight it'll start at six o'clock oh, wow. we've got Round Island kicking us off okay. uh, Tom McClung will be there we've got Taylor and Brittany oh, two, yeah. <laughs> two different times to Zumba which is uh, a lot of fun we'll have cornhole there oh, yes cornhole will be there yeah we'll have cornhole there uh, we're gonna have just yeah. <laughs> <Turn> <laughs> All kind of neat yeah, things. Yeah. And that is a free event. You can I know where I might free. leave him Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I might just drop him off for the day with you girls. Yeah, Friday, night, Friday night is a free event. You get, okay. to, you get to go around and meet all the teams. And, it's and just different really booths have different night. things. We'll have oh, food at our booth for sale. Uh, most teams have popcorn and snacks. They'll oh. sell and all the money goes to Relay. You guys are busy that way. All of this is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. yes. You can go to County for a Cure on Facebook, and this has the and whole And let me schedule. let me throw out something else to Gloria. We've had our team for three years now, and we've year. raised almost eighty-one thousand wow. dollars for Relay. And incredible. you know that's incredible for yes. our employees, our County for a Cure team. Such a great wow. cause, and like I said, everybody needs to participate next week and come out Friday night. <laughs> When they talk about you guys being Limestone County, you girls are in Limestone County. You we care love it. About Limestone County. We love it. So County. You do. What a way to give back. So everybody, if you want to put in a team, do it. It's forty dollars if you sign up for yeah! Save ten dollars. Look how much Jamie money needs you a can team. Have. Yeah, obviously, Jamie does need a team. He's doing good over there. By the way, you can win. <laughs> You're awful. You're awful. Okay. Anything else going on? Oh, we can let, let me go ahead and tell about MUD. Yes. Uh, July 21st, the date's been set. Okay. Uh, you can go online. I think that's already open yes. and register your team. What is MUD? MUD volleyball. Mud volleyball. volleyball. Yeah. Everybody knows <laughs> what we call it MUD. Okay. Everybody knows MUD volleyball. Mud volleyball. Yeah. Um, well, the new license commissioner be there? Uh, uh, hopefully. You can, <laughs> you can register online um, yeah. or you can register at the commission office. Yeah. Okay. Super. By. And that yes. is a wonderful, wonderful yes. event. Yes. Yes. And it is an all day event. Yes. That is and definitely an all-day event. Same it? place. We haven't moved Good. it. Still going to be at the park mm -hmm. up by the high school. When can people start signing up for that? Because I know there's some now. teams right that now. did not get in last now. year. Right now. You better sign up for and, that one. And we will, we will have a cutoff <laughs> on teams. You know, last year we cut it off, right. I think, at 52, 53. And you had to cut for what we could, Yeah, for what we could <laughs> handle. So... But yeah, mud's been announced. So everybody, that's the big question everybody wants to you know. You can also go to our Facebook page for that information. Yes, okay. County for a Cure. That's mm -hmm. the best way to go. If you need to contact Michelle, call me. Anytime. I'll be happy to give you Anytime. her number. It's six oh, my number is 603-4848. We'll get you that information. And if you see them out this weekend, just tell them what a great job. And congratulations, $81,000. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Now we're going to go play a game. That's we'll right. We'll be back yes. in just a few minutes. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> right. Come on, Brad. Oh, he's setting it up. He's, he's not ready for the boys to finish playing. <laughs> he thought you were still playing. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going, Joseph. 
one more time and then it'll take a break. Almost. Oh, Joseph. We need to sign Joseph. Oh, Joseph needs a team. For real. Oh. I tell you, we're going to be out and about this weekend, and again, I just want to thank everybody for the huge response and welcome everywhere we go. It's basically unbelievable, the response to Gloria running for license commissioner. Thank each and every one of you. We'll be seeing a lot of you out Saturday at events everywhere, so I'm, I'm sure our opponents will be out as well as everybody else covering the valley. So, uh, But thanks again for all the wonderful encouragement and support as we, Gloria, not we, Gloria runs for license commissioner in Limestone County. That old spice smells really good. That's how cornhole usually starts. <laughs> <laughs> how you been, man? I've been doing good. How about you really? say? Yeah, good. Yeah, what are you playing these days? Well, I got some stuff coming up at Moe's Barbecue in Coleman and some stuff in Waynesboro, Tennessee. We'll be at the Indian Festival this year. So we got some stuff coming up. And June's looking pretty good. We'll be back up in Lynchburg on the radio program. Yeah. So. Here, of course. You're as funny as we are. No, it's this, this, this is the place right here. Uh, the one, how can people get your music? Uh, look me up on Facebook. Give me a holler there. and uh, get, I got a new CD out called Simple Things. So. We bumped Steven Tyler for Wade Oliver this yes. morning from Penitentiary Mound. All right, Wade, it's all yours. <laughs> Walking down the creek, no cane pole, sitting in the shade, fishing hole, dinner at my favorite spot outside of town. Out on the porch with a glass of sweet tea, old guitar laying across my knee, sitting next to you to watch the sun go down. Driving my truck down an old dirt road, sharing the blank when she says I'm cold. That's a simple thing that makes the world go round. Making a wish on a shooting star, a little picnic out in the backyard. Table for two with candlelight, feeling I get when I look in your eyes. Sunday afternoon sitting round the shade, laughing at the games that the children play. That's a simple thing that makes the world go round. Little girl's face covered up with cake. We all celebrate her first birthday. A little walk in the park and holding your hand. Supper every week with my grandma. Every Friday night, a game of football. Moonlit beach with you and our toes and sand. Softball games with family and friends. A little hay ride when the ball begins. That's the simple things that makes the world go round. Making a wish on a shooting star, a little picnic out in the backyard. Table for two, candlelight, the feeling I get when I look in your eyes. Sunday afternoon, sitting round the shade, laughing at the games that the children play. And that's the simple things that makes the world go round. Making a wish on a shooting star, a little picnic out in the backyard. Table for two with candlelight, feeling I get when I look in your eyes. Sunday afternoon, sitting round the shade, laughing at the games that the children play. And that's the simple things that makes the world go. 